Hey everybody, it's Aaron from AWOL Nation and you're watching Ambi. Hey everyone, it's Alicia from Ambi and I would like to welcome you to my interview with Aaron from AWOL Nation. Hi. Hey, how How's are you? How's it going? Good. I want to say thank you so much for joining me. Thanks for having me. Of course. We just saw you perform a couple of new tracks off of your brand new record Was release. it good? It was really okay, good. Cool. <laughs> Those harmonies too, they're just absolutely beautiful acoustic. I was just talking to my buddy that it's, it's, uh, it's nice to have guys that can sing in the band decently, you know, and um, or at least have the confidence to try because sometimes it's just about putting the effort forward rather than singing far back from the mic where no one can hear you, you know. So even if they sound flat at times, or any of us, at least we're going for it. <laughs> so is that a big thing within the band? Like you'll joke about it if someone does mess of up? Of course, There's some yeah. pretty good banter happening out there. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. I mean, we try to not take ourselves too seriously because we're – you know, at the end of the day, playing music, so we get to play, right? Mm -hmm. um, and it's it's a lot of fun. So uh, I've noticed a lot. I've been in other bands before, in other situations where everybody's really uptight, and it's we're all artists, and it's you know we take ourselves too seriously sometimes. So um, any chance we get to loosen the mood and and poke fun at each other, we're all about it. We were playing some new tracks off of Here Come the Runt, and as I mentioned before, they were sounding fantastic. And I know how much work goes into creating a record how much time as well so mm -hmm. it's just pure relief that it's out there now for everyone to hear yeah it's been done for a while and um it's it's sort of like i mean not even close to as extreme but metaphorically like giving birth it's there's a lot of pain in the process of of the release uh having a couple songs out before was was cool but i wanted people to hear the full the full uh, spectrum of the the album so now that it's out i'm just so happy that um people who take the time to listen can have the experience of of uh the song fr the songs from front to back and go on the journey with with these runts and and the different characters that show up speaking to runts i was actually very surprised about how many doggos are fans of a wall nation there have been we have a lot, a lot of dog, dog fans, photos yeah. going through your feed so yeah. where did you decide to kind of bring in the dog aspect and start using toys even that people can get I well the, t the, 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 the toys are helpful for different um benefits that we're a part of and different ways to help uh um animals affected by some of the natural disasters that have happened in the states uh, there, have been, there have been a lot of there was some hurricanes and then um were some really bad fires especially close to where we live and um you know a lot of people forget that that you know for example dogs will go missing or need a home or food so um if you check out some of our dog merchandise it, it goes directly to these uh causes which is really cool Amazing. and um and plus, it's really fun to see our band name on these beautiful animals at the same time. And then as far as posting the photos on, on you know, our Instagram, I mean, I'd rather look at my amazing dogs than look at myself, of course, you know, <laughs> and I feel like everybody could agree. A so. lot of pet owners are in the same boat. Yeah, exactly. So, I mean, it's just our, our, our feed online is just an extension of our lifestyle, you know, so um, that's probably why because dogs mean a lot to us for sure. And you look to a lot of older rock and roll and 80s tracks for this release. Was it something where you revisited them for some inspiration or have they always kind of been there? <clears throat> it's always been there, but I just, you know, naturally it came out of me a lot. You know, I think I became a bit uh, um, tired of, of the electronic sound of alternative music and wanted to um, go back to a more orga organic sounding album. Well, I have some older groups here that I want to do a little this or that with, just to see who you're vibing a bit more to at the moment. This or that? What, what so I'm going to say two band names, uh -huh. and you can choose which one you prefer. Okay, sure. All right, you ready? Sure. So The Cars or Cheap Trick? The Cars, for sure. I love The Cars okay. very much. How about The Kinks or The Love and Spoonful? Um, both are great, but I'll go with The Kinks, because I think there's uh, a wider variety of good songs. Fleetwood Mac or David Bowie? That's a kind of a gnarly question. I know. You know it's that's a, it's a, that's a, little, a, gnarly, it's a little hard, a little uh, rough. Fleetwood Mac or David Bowie. I mean, I'm going to go with Bowie. Okay. And then know, for the Because Let's Dance to me is, and Fame are, are, are sort of two of the funkiest tracks in the history of time. But Fleetwood Mac is, this is, this is, I'm, I resent you for asking me that question. <laughs> that's ridiculous. You know? But I guess I'll go with Bowie because, you know, also he passed away. So let's give him a tribute. I don't think I've ever had an artist say they resent me in an interview, so that's a first. I'm sorry. But you're the one who asked the question, you know. <laughs> I don't really, it's one. a joke. I don't really resent you, but the I'm question sure. was. It's a tough one. Hurt my feelings, and I'm going to lose sleep over it. Let's see about this one. Okay. How about Springsteen or Petty? No. <laughs> that's insane. Um, see, I just feel like certain friends, will, if they watch this, will have an argument about oh, this got answer. It. I mean. 
I mean, I'm, I'm going to have to go with Springsteen. Okay. Because Nebraska and Born in the USA are two of my top, and they, they enter my top 20, 30 favorite albums of all time, probably top 20, where I wouldn't say that there's one Tom Petty record that is in my top 20, although there are songs that are in my top 50. So it's, we got there. Yeah, we got yeah, there. We yeah. got there. But I have to go. I have to go with Bruce <laughs> on that one. Although, uh, really sad that that Tom's no longer with us. There's a song off of the new record called Passion, which was originally inspired by somebody's critique on one of your later or previous songs. So I was wondering, do you still look up reviews on this new record, or is that no. something after that you just you just stopped? Well, you know, reviews are becoming more and more uh, uh, irrelevant, and. Um, I really look to the people around me and, and what they feel about the music. And, um, you know, the fans and, and people who love and cherish music a lot um, rather than some sort of um, end-all, be-all source for um, a review. But, um, you know, it, the good ones come to me usually and, and people tell me about them. But uh, this has been the best reaction I've gotten from, from any music I've ever made. So it's been really rewarding and uh, actually, you know, a lot of love has come from this, which is good, and the reaction has been very positive, and um, I'm very uh, thankful, because the opposite would be bum- a bummer, for sure. <laughs> I'm sure it felt good to work something negative into a positive as well. Sure, you know, it, it was more like I was making fun of myself, really. Some, I read somewhere that someone said uh, that the album, the last um, lack passion, I'm thinking, well, that's the last thing it lacks, so you could like it or not like it, but don't say it doesn't have passion, so I just thought... Uh, and I, you know, I saw it as a positive opportunity to, to speak about something that helps us get through the day and inspires us, which is just the feeling of passion and what we could do to, um, to overcome certain obstacles of life. I know that in the music video, you definitely worked skating in there, which was yeah. phenomenal. It looked absolutely beautiful. It's a very breathtaking video. Thank you. And growing up, you actually sprained your ankle skateboarding. I did. Wow. You went deep on that. Yeah. <laughs> I tried to just 180 ollie up a curb and rolled my ankle hard and and my buddies didn't believe that it hurt as bad as it did. And the next day I showed up with like this, this makeshift cast and they were oh. all laughing at me. And um, so I'm not a good skater. My cousin's name is Mike Moe and he's a pro skater though. So maybe that makes, makes up for, uh, <laughs> for how bad There's I am. There's someone in the know. family going strong. Yeah, he, he's great. Check him out. Was that the moment that you wanted to go into surfing rather than skating? Or have I you was tried to board again? I'll, I'll skate around because it has the sensation of surfing when we're on tour, but I, I won't be... Uh, doing any kickflips anytime soon. I've okay. never landed a kickflip. That's the truth. Um, <laughs> and, and, but I'm a huge fan of skating. I'm always watching whatever the newest videos are that, that seem cool. You know, and I'm trying to check out, uh, there's always good music in skate videos too. Yeah. They, they, and they have great fashion and, um, seem to be very forward thinking e- more so than surfers in a lot of ways. I think you mentioned great music. I mean, so many kids grew up with Tony Hawk and discovered a lot of music through <clears throat> those video games as well. Yeah. So I remember when that, that game came out, um, a lot of my skater buddies' thumbs were all messed up from how much they played it. Well, you're now taking the record out on the road, and these songs were written out of home studio. So does it kind of feel like you have a little piece of home with you now that you're touring these songs? Because I know you've mentioned you're a self-coined homebody. Yeah, definitely. And um, we've tried to, to, to bring the feel of, of where we live. And, you know, we're really proud of where we live and feel lucky to be able to be sort of in this mountainous uh, area. And... Um, you know, being from Southern California is, is great because there's so many different um, inspirations from music and uh, art all the way to just nature and, and how pretty the coast is, of course. And um, so we're trying to bring all those elements with us the best we can uh, in, in a show environment and, and share some of that with people who come to the show. And you'll, of course, be performing tracks off of Here Come the Runs, but I know No, just back, the old ones. Just the old ones. <laughs> but one of the coolest things is your first concert was Sting. It was, yeah. That's an amazing, pretty badass first concert. Well, he was kind of in that weird w- world music phase, so oh, he was so maybe doing some not so. <laughs> but they played a lot of good police songs, and Sting's got some great solo songs for sure. But uh, yeah, I was at the Greek uh, Theater in 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 Hollywood, and um, it was a great show for sure. Looking back though, it seems like almost too small of a venue for him. So uh, it's a a strange show for my first show, to say the least. Is there anybody that you'd still love to see live that you have yet to? Or have you covered most of them? I think I've seen... Uh, the last band I, I felt like I really wanted to see was the Rolling Stones, and um, we got to open up for them in uh, Pittsburgh. So, And it was just... It was definitely one of the best shows I've ever experienced. I mean, our show was sort of... Of course, we're playing, and everybody's finding their seats, getting their popcorn, grabbing their beers, and, and it was raining when we played. So... 
I was just happy to like, you know, when we were playing our set, I was just sort of looking around at their gear and tripping out that we were on the stage with, with the Rolling Stones. And then um, we got to meet them. And then they walked, they shook our hands. We did a photo, which I'm not allowed to share. And then uh, it's somewhere. I don't even know where it is, honestly. And um, they, they shook our hands. And five minutes later, the show started. They walked right on stage and they blew us away. It was incredible. It must have just been completely surreal. And then the next week, we played a festival uh, with... Robert Plant and Paul McCartney. So I feel like I had the, the hat trick of, wow. of life really yeah. in one week. So you really don't need anything because that's, you're at the top. Then. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, it was cool. Well, let's wrap things up. I do want to bring it to the fans. Is there anything you want to leave with everyone viewing just parting words? Oh, just, you know, if, if, <laughs> if any of these lyrics speak to you, you know, you're not alone and, and um, life is all about the journey and, and all about the struggle and, and uh, you know, in order to feel happiness and um, to feel to feel uh, some sort of accomplishment in life, there has to be struggle. And uh, I encourage everybody to cherish those moments and appreciate them along the way. Beautifully put. Thank you so much for joining Thanks me. Thanks for having me. It's my pleasure. And remember to everybody viewing, you can visit us at musicblogout.com for all exclusive interviews, features, videos, and so much more. See ya.